Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer, Senior Editor at CNED, and I'm standing next to Samsung's UNF5000. This is a 40-inch LED LCD TV. This series is also available in a 22, a 32, a 46, and a 50-inch size, so a good range there in the uh, smaller screen sizes among TVs. This is one of Samsung's entry-level 2013 TVs. That means it's one of the few that doesn't have smart TV built into it, so you won't get all those apps and other smart TV doodads or internet connectivity found on some of the higher-end models. It does have some of the nice styling cues of those higher-end models, however, including a nice thin bezel around the edge and a relatively thin profile when seen from the side. That's thanks to its edge-lit LEDs. Unlike on some of the step-up models, however, this Samsung stand does not allow it to swivel. Around back, there's only two HDMI inputs, which might cramp your style if you're going to connect more than two devices that use HDMI. Unfortunately, that's pretty much everything these days, including cable boxes, game consoles, and DVD players, so you might need to buy an external switching device to make up for the lack. Unlike its more expensive brethren, this TV also lacks a couple of the high-end picture adjustments, although there is plenty for most people to get the job done. Samsung's entry-level remote is also pretty puny and packed with buttons, but at least you get plenty of direct control. Despite being a relatively inexpensive TV, we were pretty impressed by the picture quality of the F5000. It has a relatively deep black level for an LED LCD. It actually outdoes its higher-end 6300 series cousin in terms of delivering that inky black that makes dark scenes, especially when you have the lights down, look really nice. When you turn up the lights, the set screen also does a pretty good job of dealing with glare. One of the downsides of the F5000's picture, however, is its inability to properly produce the film-based cadence that some of the other high-end TVs can get. Despite the fact that Samsung calls this a 120 CMR TV, it doesn't have a 120 hertz refresh rate, so it'll get a little bit more blur if you're sensitive to that sort of stuff. All told, however, we're really impressed by the picture quality of the F5000 and consider it a really good value if you don't really care about smarts. That's a quick look at Samsung's UNF5000 LED TV. I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET. Thank you.